Yesterday, I posted that I combined brownies and cinnamon rolls and asked if you guys wanted to see how I did it. And a lot of you said yes, so here we go. So first of all, the brownie mix that I used is the California Country Gal, and it's a keto-friendly, chewy gooey brownie mix, which is so good. And I made it just how the package direction said, and it calls for a half cup of nut butter, and I just happened to have some of the Sin City cinnamon cashew butter, so I used that, and it worked great. It was a beautiful, glossy brownie mix, and I found that I had a half cup left of my Lily's chocolate cinnamon baking chips, so I added those for a little extra cinnamon kick in there and then for the cinnamon roll mix i also used california country gal keto cinnamon roll mix and i made that first and i chilled it in the freezer for like 20 minutes so it was easier to work with and then you just spread it out in a big thin rectangle on some parchment and that's the cinnamon filling on top and then you roll it up as best you can it doesn't need to be perfect obviously look at mine it cut it into about like nine or ten cinnamon rolls put it in a round pan first i spooned some brownie mix to make sure i got down in all the like little crevices and then i just spread the rest on top like a cake frosting and then for the cream cheese frosting this is just three tablespoons of butter three ounces of cream cheese that i softened a little in the microwave added a couple big spoons of powdered monk fruit and a little vanilla now i bake this at 350 for 35 minutes and everything was set but the brownie mix or maybe it was the chocolate chips i don't know it was still a little gooey and it was perfect like that like i highly recommend doing it like that and then as i served it i put some of that cream cheese frosting on top and it was absolutely the perfect mix of chocolate and cinnamon and gooeyness oh you have got to try this